In Belisir Khalsa at the Jalambazar Stadium. The same fixture in March saw the Young Lions beat the Tigers 3-0. But it was the away team who struck early on this occasion. Paul Cunningham not at home, K. Vic Raman's free kick after just three minutes. The Tigers then went on to secure the points with a second goal. Rivaldo Costa's audacious lob caught the keeper napping. That's his ninth goal of the season and was enough to give the Tigers their second straight away victory. Home United travel to Woodland Stadium to face Woodland's Wellington. Protector skipper Sharul Ishak kept up his impressive form by scoring in the sixth minute. His 15th of the season just one behind the league's top scorer, Frederick Mendy. The Rams then spurned a great chance to level things up. Jama Jantan penalised for a clumsy challenge on Luis Eduardo Hicks in the box. The Chilean stepped up to take the spot kick, but his feeble attempt went horribly wide. Woodland zip find an equaliser four minutes before the break. Rizwan Abdullah with a spectacular 20-yard effort, and that had the keeper well beaten. But then disaster struck at the other end. Hafiz Mawazi got his angles all wrong here and allowed Toy Chu Wu to head into an unguarded net. 2 1, it finished to the protectors. At 12 FC, were at home to Geylang United. The Eagles haven't lost in four games before the break, but it was the French side who took all three points in this game. Karim Yama with the winner on 74 minutes. Elsewhere, Elbricks Nagata slumped to their 13th defeat of the season, losing 2 1 to Gomba United at the Jurong East Stadium. Chang Jun Jun and Fazru Nawa scoring for Gomba. With just seven games to go, Tampanis lead at 12 by just a single point at the top of the table. It looks like a three-horse race for the title with Home United just four points behind. The FFC find themselves in an unfamiliar seventh spot after a disappointing season. Woodlands Wellington looks set to finish bottom. They are eight points behind Singkang Pongo. Here's the rest of the fixture for round 27. Tampanese will attempt to stretch their lead at the top when they entertain the Young Lions on Saturday. SFFC are in action on Sunday as they face Gombak away from home. In the next round...